Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather. Before I get started, if you're interested and you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that tiny bell button and click all so you can get notifications so you don't miss out on videos like this of how to denture fit and my giveaways and everything else. So this video, oh man, it's so well anticipated. I've been wanting to do this video for such a, okay, probably since before I, I was getting dentures, I wanted to use denture fit. And I'm going to explain details exactly how to do it. You guys don't be worried about doing it. I mean, if you mess up, you mess up, but they are a wonderful customer service. If you are afraid and you want to be talked through it, um, they have their how-to videos. You can even call them. Their customer service, and I'm not playing with you, will talk you through every second of your steps. They are a great bunch of team. Um, I definitely wouldn't be doing these videos if I didn't back a company. And they care so much about people. So to take the time out of their day and to have patience and be so friendly and kind, it's awesome. So don't ever be nervous when doing, you know, denture fit and worried if you're going to mess up um, because they're there to always help you. And also, too, they do send you these removal kits on how to, you know, take off the silicone if you mess up or something happens or you need to do a new one. You know, it's fine. You have the removal. So just to back up an in information, the first step you want to do is clean your denture. Make sure there's no adhesive. Make sure there's no extra any soft reline up in there. Um, you can use it with a dentist soft reline, but um, it is best to have it completely cleaned out. You're good as gold. Wash it good. You don't want oils. You don't want residue. You don't want none of that up in your denture because the silicone has to stick. And it's not going to be able to stick if it's got a whole bunch of stuff up in there. So make sure it's thoroughly cleaned and 100% dried, guys. Don't leave, like, don't leave a little bit up in these corners. Like, mine goes deep. Like, you have to, like, get a Q-tip to dry that thing out. Um, I'm making sure mine are dry. Got to make sure because I get paranoid. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this. But this is the applicator. Also, too, I did want to let you guys know, listen, I got a lot of shrinkage. So this is a how-to to get started um, with their stuff. Sorry, I'm looking at my timer. I'm getting ready. Um, but you might need extra silicone. So when you first do this, don't be like, oh, it's not working or it's still too loose. That's cool. I mean, it's it's you might have to add more like me. I will end up doing another video on how to add extra denture uh, fit when you need it. Um, but this is just to show you how to get it going. Um, so first, again, make sure your denture is super clean. Clean it 100% dried, guys. 100% dry. Do not twist this or turn this when you're ready to do so. Don't. Because once you hear that click and it's ready to go, once it goes on here, you have 15 seconds to get it into your mouth. Um, so first we do the primer. When you do this, and it comes with these little trusty swabs, you do a quick dip. Quick, easy peasy dip. Um, and I'm going to talk to, with you guys while I do this, because once I get it in my mouth, I'll be able to talk to you guys. Um, so I'll be talking to you as I'm doing this. So open your primer. When you do start, I'm going to let you guys know this before I open my primer. I put a washcloth down to be safe. And I also have paper towels in front of me and just in case. So you want to be super, super safe. You guys know how I am with that. So you just take a quick dip. Quick dip, lay it on my denture. Now, once you put the primer on, you have to set your timer for two minutes and don't touch it. But you want to coat it all around your denture. Now you want it around there. Don't forget to get the edges first. Get your edges, every edge. See how I'm getting the back? You want to get the back super well. Get the top, get everywhere, because you want it to be able to stick. And then you want to get all over your denture. I'm making sure I'm getting that all good. I'm not missing a beat on this one, guys. Oh, I got a little bit on my skin. I'm getting a little too excited, but be careful. Go all around, make sure you get everything, because this primer is what helps it seal. 
and make sure you have a timer ready to go for two minutes because once you're done applying it and every spot is coated because I'm making sure it's all coated. You never know. You can always make a miss a cracker crevice, guys. You can always miss something. And I do not want to miss anything. So just coat. Okay. I'm all coated and ready to go. And I'm going to press my timer. Okay. So while I'm talking to you guys, I'm letting my timer go. Um, just let this dry. Let it dry. Let it do its thing. And let it so it's healed out. If you guys don't get every spot of this, it's not going to fully stick. So you want to make sure you do that. Our next step, which obviously I'm not going to do right now, is when you twist this and you apply. And I'm going to show you exactly how to apply it um, because there is a certain way. You want to, and I'm going to show you guys a picture in case you guys can't see it this far because my son is not here to show you guys. This is how you want to lay it out. So you want to do one down the middle of your palette on the left side and the right side of your palette, then fill the rest in your trough. And I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to do that. Then once you're done with that and you're ready to pop it in your mouth, you have to make sure your suction is good. So you want to put it in your mouth, put your thumb right in the palate, like your little, you know, dip in spot. And you make sure it's in the sucking, uh, the sucking spot. That's what I like to call it. But it fits in good. So you put your thumb in your mouth um, and, you know, your pointer right over your nose. Just like a baby would suck on their thumb is exactly what you want to do. If you give a couple of sucks while you're doing that, it'll go into the suction mode. And from there on out, you want to wait four minutes before taking it out. Once four minutes are up, then you want to cut the extra stuff off like you would normally do um, with a soft free line. But get ready, guys, because we're going to start in about 19, well, 17 seconds now. So when that's ready to go, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You guys, send your fit. Come on now. It's soft silicone and it's awesome. And it's great for suction. And there's my alarm. So what you do is you want to hold it great. Snapped. So what I do, I'm trying to get my hands not to shake. It takes a minute, guys. Take your time. Go slow. Um, it takes a minute for it to go in the tube. And it actually works fairly easy. And you do the left and right side, just like I told you guys. Then you take the extra and put it in your trough. So I'm definitely probably going to have to add more. Okay. Done. Finished it. Poop. And I'm going to probably do another one just because that's not going to be enough. And I'm going to do this quick, super quick. I did this before and I want to try it again. So I'm going to shut it. Now I'm popping it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. All right, fella. Mm Wow. Um, if you have extra, you know, take a look, um, do all that, you know, just trim off a little bit. Having a little hangover is perfectly fine. Do not overcut guys. Do not overcut. Um, it's just, if you have some left over, I didn't have a whole lot left over. Um, I checked and, um, add a little bit more 
because my denture's huge. I told you guys I was going to do a video on the extra amount. But um, it almost feels like something is, like my denture's hugging my gums. I got to say, guys, I used to use a Reline It all the time. And this is a freaking game changer. Like, I have massive shrinking, guys. When I put my denture in my mouth, it falls right out. Now that I have denture fit in my mouth, ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> like, literally, I'm talking, no adhesive, just denture fit. Holy crap. Like, guys, I'm just saying. It's pretty freaking awesome. And, you know, what? As you know, your denture gets a little loose because it's going to. Our gums are going to shrink. Um, they do have snug up applications. And, you know, you can get another upper or another lower. This was just for uppers. But, um... You know, there's, you can just do a touch up. You already have denture fit on it, the silicone. So you just got to add to the silicone. You do not need to prime again, which is awesome. But thank you, denture fit for allowing me to do this video and for making a kick-ass product because it feels like my gums are sitting on a cloud. Like I'm not kidding. And I'm even trying to move my denture, see if it moves. Nope. Like this is awesome. Like look. Not moving, not budging. So that is how you put in denture fit, guys. Don't forget to just follow directions. Don't get nervous doing it. I know so many people that say, you know, they're afraid to do it. Denture fit company is amazing. You can call them. They'll talk you right through it. You can watch this video. Uh, your favorite denture wearer, um, he did one, um, which is what I know a lot of my friends have used um, in the past. But even denture fit themselves has a video. So don't ever be nervous. You have a freaking community here to help you. So don't be afraid, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. And don't forget to look out for my giveaways because that will be coming up very shortly. Have a good day, all. God bless and stay safe. Later.